What's up guys, my name is Carl and welcome to Tech Hunter. Today I'm doing something a little bit boring, some of you might find. I'm cleaning my PC. But some people do actually ask, like, what do you use? How do you do it? What's the kind of a good product to use? Kind of good little tools you might have? So I thought it's in desperate need of a clean. So I thought I'd bring you guys along for the experience, show you kind of stuff I like to use. Little like tips and tricks that I picked up along my years of PC building, you could say. And I thought it'd just be a good way to show mainly how horrible and dusty and disgusting this PC is inside. So I'll show you guys that before I clean it, obviously, so you can get a nice before and after effect. And for people with like me who have pets, this can be kind of an ongoing issue as obviously intake fans can suck in air. There might be gaps in the back of your PC where some cat or dog hair may get inside of or you may even realise there may even be gaps between the glass and the case itself where spiders and things like that can easily climb inside and even at the bottom of the case I only realised the other day that this does have a dust filter down there so you keep that dust from coming in but at the front of the case there's like four holes don't know why, just just four holes down there so uh, that's an easy way for a lot of dust to get in and then I looked in looked into these holes and the cables were just covered in dust. So obviously they're causing some issues with the cleanliness of my PC. So I'm gonna power it down, obviously unplug it, and then we're gonna look at getting inside it. I've got a few things I'd like to recommend for cleaning. Some microfiber cloths are always a good one. Uh, some window and glass cleaner, obvious reasons. Also works quite well on the kind of exterior of the case as well. Uh, I like using this. So it's a tiny little brush, nice soft tip, good for getting into the nooks and crannies. Also got this, a little pump blower. So you give it a little pump and it should separate the dust, which could be in difficult to read spaces. But there's also, also a hoover is a good idea. Can't get that on the desk because the hoover's quite large. That'll be used for maybe cleaning out the dust filters, getting the dust out of them. And also, kind of, if I'm just feeling like I want to disturb some of the dust, get it all spread about, I don't want things kind of sticking onto the motherboard. I want to just kind of blow it off. This isn't going to be up to the task. So I picked up this the other day. Oh, it nearly rolled off. And this should do the job. I think, as I've done that, I've just blown loads of dust off the ceiling. This should do the job just nicely. Right, so first things first, I'll show you guys what's going on in here, all the dust, the cobwebs, and the horrible things like that. And then we'll look at cleaning this thing up. Right, so this is the current state of play inside my case. This is gonna anger a lot of people, I'm sure, but I spend more time with other PCs than I do my own at the moment, building and messing around with them, than I do my own PC. So when I'm on my PC, it's usually just video editing and maybe some gaming so it does kind of get left behind and as you can see along the top and there we go you can just about see that very thin spider web which seems to go across the whole of my case and then it kind of spreads its way out and goes across the majority of this thing obviously the dust is real the build up is there it's super obvious on the GPU and on the SSDs as well, as well as the NTXT Hue Plus lighting thing. It's really obvious. And there's a few more anomalies. I know the dust filters are in desperate need of some cleaning. These pipes from the AIO are in desperate need of some dusting. And I also want to get some cable combs because I did have some, but I removed them when I stole these cables for another build. and. I've not got around to put a NEM back on. Maybe I'll be able to achieve that this time around. Also, I've got a, was it two eight pins there? And the one of the six, the other eight pins is stuffed down below because I went from a 980 Ti with two eight pins to a 1070 with one eight pin. I know the upgrade is minor, very, very minor, but it's more the fact that I bought this card for a build and thought I might as well use it in my own system. So we need to sort that cable out and mainly the dust buildup and cobwebs. So let's take a look and see what we can work out. Alright, so first things first, because I'm a bit of an idiot, I want to try 
this. I could obviously give it a nice dusting first with a cloth and then do this just to get that initial layer, but I want to know what this thing could do. So let's find out. Now that's taken care of and pretty much achieved nothing other than just spread a lot of dust into the air. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there is a lot. And now I'm breathing most of it in. So maybe I'll get the cloths out, give it a nice little wipe, and then we'll see what it looks like after just a little wipe. We'll see the glass I took off a minute ago doesn't actually look too bad. The spiders are actually on here and weren't actually on the glass, so that's a bit of a bonus. That genuinely looks so much better already. I should have just done it literally took what a minute and it looks ten times better. It's only to sort this out. So I'm going to have to open up the back and you guys will get to see what my cable management is like. I'm pretty sure it was awful. I can't remember, but you're about to find out. I also need to check out these dust filters on the front and at the bottom still. It doesn't look as bad as I thought. I'm, I'm not totally ashamed. So as you can see, my cable management isn't terrible. It could be better, but I feel like it's adequate considering we've got quite a lot of stuff in here with the ignore them it's meant to be like that but I think I think uh, I think the blower is needed again there's a lot of dust down the bottom here I feel like the blower is the is the one for the job here They got a bit of the dust out, so that's a good sign. It's obviously flowing around the room again. So I'm going to take out that spare cable I've got at the front and just kind of tuck it under there for now, just leave it out of the way. And then I'm going to move around to the front and I'm going to go over with the little brush I've got just to go over any kind of small bits that I can't, didn't quite get to and take it on the top of like the RAM, the RAM slots on where the kind of like right at the top where I can't really get my hand into. The brush would be a good tool for that. Just gonna get those bits of dust off, which I can't see from what we're meant to see right now. And then I think, what else do I need to do? I think a bit of glass cleaner on the top and the outside, and then those dust filters. That is one of the dust filters, that is the one for the power supply. As you can see, it looks a little bit manky, so we need to get the hoover on this bad boy and get that dust out of here. So as you can see, there is still quite a lot of dust build up, even though we do have that filter on there. You can see it's actually made its way through the filter and onto the power supply itself. That is generally as a result of the filter being clogged up, so it's just kind of making his way through and as I was saying earlier about just having random holes in the bottom of your case it says cables there but that one is actually just covered in dust under there so that's always a something to keep in mind at the bottom of your case you may have a nice dust filter here but there's a lot of open space still for dust and even bugs and hairs to get inside so bear that in mind So if you compare that to how it looked about three or four minutes ago, I'd say that will make a definite improvement. You don't want clogged up dust filters. That is one of the biggest problems, and especially if you have these kind of things sat on carpet, these can get really, really dusty. It's 
one is a lot less clogged up. There's no big kind of clumps in it like the power supply one had. Though there is dust there and it does need a bit of a clean. The main part that needs to clean is the radiator. As you can see, a little bit of dust build up in that. Obviously, the dust kind of, as it clogs up and builds up, can generally kind of increase the temperatures you're likely to see as it kind of keeps it a bit warmer. It kind of works as like an insulator, keeping the heat in, which is something we don't want. So we need to kind of blow, suck, whatever the method I actually end up going with, probably both, just to get the dust out of that and get this thing running that little bit better. I think that a little bit more quieter, because that's the thing that's been bothering me most about this whole thing lately. Right, so I'm going to put this all back together, give it a quick one over with the microfiber cloth and then do a little bit of fun in the fans. I'm not going to film that because it's just going to take ages. And then we'll have a look at it before and after and see if these little tips and tricks can kind of help you in the long run. Obviously, they're just basic obvious cleaning tips, but I thought that I'd bring you along for the ride just so you guys can see. I guess so you guys can actually just see what the inside of my PC actually looks like and how bad I can be as well. So I found a couple cable combs. Obviously it doesn't look great right now because there's about a thousand on there, but that's just to kind of get that cable back into some shape because it lost a lot of shape. It's so twisted where I just twisted it up, pushed it out of the way and just forgot about it. As a result, it looks a bit naff now, but hopefully we can retrain it and get it back into some sort of respectable shape. Right, so as you can see, we're generally looking a lot better down there. A lot less dust build up than what was previously there. Obviously there's a few bits floating around which are gonna cause me some issues for a while. And then we managed to do the fans as well. They look spotless now. There's no horrible marks on the top of the GPU. I managed to find a cable comb for my 24 pin and I'm trying to train that eight pin back into shape. I also did replace my thermal paste on my uh, CPU there. I thought it was definitely worth doing. It's not been done for a couple years, so always a good idea to do that if you're inside and you think it's not been done for a while. The dust filters are obviously a lot cleaner now. So let's turn it on and then come back to my general conclusion. Right, so I've had IDA64 running for about 10 minutes or so. How long has it been? Yeah, 10 minutes. Just so, obviously I can see if the system's still working, made sure I've not done anything wrong when I've put the new thermal paste on. And I'm pretty happy. We're averaging about 58 degrees on the CPU, which is pretty good going if I'm honest. I'm quite happy with that under full load as well. No throttling whatsoever. And I think before, well I'll say about a week or two ago before I actually thought about cleaning this system out, I was hitting temperatures of around 65 to 70. So obviously I've lost five or six degrees, which I'm pretty happy about. Mainly that's probably due to the new thermal paste as opposed to the cleaning and the dusting. But at the end of the day, it all adds up, it all helps. Maybe the cleaning and dusting knocked off one or two degrees and then the thermal paste Reapplication knocked off maybe four or five. Right guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. I've got a lot better temperatures, mainly down to the thermal paste, I'm assuming, but the dust clearing probably has helped a little bit and it helps me rest at night, knowing that when I look in my PC, it's not just a horrible spiderweb, dust-ridden, disgusting mess. It's actually something I'm happy to look at again. So that's always a big bonus. Obviously I've got a couple videos coming up in the future. I've got a big 900 to 1000 pounds ish PC build on its way very, very soon. I've also got a 
24 inch FreeSync 75 hertz monitor review to do from Acer. That's a good little monitor. I'm looking forward to using that. It's also got a kind of zero frame effect. So I don't have these horrible thick bezels like I do on this monitor. That's gonna have nice thin bezels, which I'm thinking will look great for a triple display setup at some point. But moving on, I think the channel is progressing well. I've got had a couple of videos go out recently. I've got the one about the GPUs. If you've not checked out that one, check that out because the GPU market is a little bit crazy right now. This video, I've got the big build coming up. I've got that monitor review coming up and I've got plenty of more work to with uh, other companies in the future. Hopefully something with Arctic and also a company called Easy, Easy SMX. They've sent me a headset and a kind of like gamepad, yeah, like an Xbox controller to review and work with. And that is something I'm working on right now, which I am enjoying very much. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, a bit more personal, a bit more one-on-one, -on -one, less review, less scripted, then feel free to click that like button down below. If you didn't like this kind of stuff, click that dislike button. Let me know what you thought about today's video in the comments down below. And if you decide my face hasn't offended you, don't forget to click that subscribe button so we can see each other again soon. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Cheers.